I'm excited at being poor because of this thing. It just means I'm not going to be eating out. I'm not going to be buying unnecessary stuff. I'm going to like be eating powdered food and the bacon that I have frozen right now. <laughs> and I'll just like deal with it. I'll chill. I'll be a monk again. Uh, I miss doing that. Um, yeah, then I changed a lot of the way my accounting works and I gave myself probably too much money. So I need to go back to being my, my old, more frugal self. Cause I think I lived a, I think I live a better life when I'm, when I'm not excited about buying stuff constantly. Um, oh heck, I may as well talk about that. So I have talked about in the past, the life sucks, right? Uh, generally speaking, there is a kind of tone to all of life which is fairly universal to all people. And there's this weird thing where it's like, if, if you win the lottery, you, uh, you become an amplified version of yourself. So it doesn't solve all your problems. It can sometimes make a lot of your problems way worse. It's like, if I were to give a whole lot of money to somebody who's an addict, um, that might actually have them overdose because now they'll splurge on that. Right? So, so money is a kind of a, a weird thing. Um, and what a lot of people do is well, they'll take some portion of their income and they pit it against the, the challenges of life, not in solving the challenges, but in, uh, in, in funding coping mechanisms. So for example, uh, food is a, is something like a coping mechanism for the for the difficulties, right? So a lot of people will, because I've talked about this before, unfortunately, a lot of people that are poorer actually spend more on luxury goods as a way of, of coping with how difficult life is when you're poor. So they'll tend to eat out uh, junk food and stuff like that more. And sometimes there, there are, there are actual legitimate reasons for doing that. There was a documentary. I don't know if it was just some segment in because like Canadian news shows actually have some interesting stuff in there if it's not like news news but if it's one of these like marketplace uh, that that talks about some of these things they can be rather interesting I, I think it was in one of those that was talking about so some American equivalent it was talking about um how buying good quality food and cooking it from scratch wasn't realistic because uh, because cooking from scratch took, took more time and people had more than one job. If you're lucky, right? These days, if you're lucky, but the, the, the people being kind of followed, interviewed, talked about not having enough time. And it was actually more expensive than going and buying breakfast at McDonald's for the family. And it's just like, well, there are circumstances where, okay, yeah, technically that's a luxury good, but so the numbers are kind of skewed by saying people who are poor buy more luxury goods or buy more McDonald's or whatever the heck that's, there's, more, there's always more story. Whenever somebody pulls out a statistic, every one of those individuals that's being boiled down into like distilled into some number that's put in a table, there's always stuff behind there. <laughs> 